Okay. okay. Good. You don't see my butt crack. You don't see my underwear. We could change the angle of the camera to do that. No. Get better views. Don't you tear. Oh, I got a good view right now. Don't you tear, but just such a good video. I won't. No. <laughs> Are you gonna edit it? <laughs> we'll see who edits it. <laughs> Hi, welcome to the 151 Garage. I'm Sean. I'm Jill. And That's Jill. Alicia. Yeah. And Diesel's, Diesel's in the corner there. sleeping. So, if anybody wants to know, she is a foster dog. We're fostering her for a friend of ours for a period of time until the house gets built. So, mm -hmm. you'll see her in a lot of the other videos, especially if we're in the car driving around and stuff. So. And her, uh, her breed is a Belgian Malinois. Hi. Or Malinois. Yes, I know. You want to be on the camera again? Hi. Okay, okay, I love you too. Go lay down. And she is very much attached to Sean. Lucky I you. keep I keep treats in my pocket, so she follows me around everywhere. Anyways, that's the trick of it. Anyways, uh, so with what's going on with the video, we actually watched the premiere premiere from Bronco Nation on the. Raptor, Raptor Bronco. Now, some of the things we watched it, we watched it a few times, and some of the things that we actually stopped and actually found were uh, pretty interesting. So, first off, what we thought about the video. It's nice to see it moving rather than just still pictures of it because now you get to see kind of how it looks while it's driving around. Uh, sound. Really can't tell the sound by the video. Uh, it always kind of makes the sound feel or seem a little bit odd or a little yeah. bit different. Now, now the Bronco wasn't unwrapped. It still had the camouflage on it. Yeah, it still had the weird uh, bubble on illusion it. camouflage. It, I'm gonna have to wait to see what it looks like unwrapped. I'm the fenders are starting to grow on me a little bit uh, now that it's rolling around. Uh, we'll see. It's it's one of the things. I actually think it looks pretty cool. I'm just unsure of whether it's just bolted on bigger fenders on a stock right. Bronco or... Well, it comes factory from Ford with 37-inch tires. As you know, these do not. Obviously, this is a scaled-down version, but... Um, <laughs> Those are... Hang on, yeah. where's that? <laughs> Those are... <laughs> They're one to one, okay? These are two inch, if you guys want to know. <laughs> and that's the Sasquatch package. Yeah, this is a watch rack. So it is pretty much a 118th scale. Right. Um, so with the Raptor, it is taller because of the bigger tires. Mm -hmm. And like he was saying, it is a little bit wider. So when it was parked next to one of these, it was a very noticeable difference on the height and the width alone. Yeah, on the last picture, I'll, I'll link the video down below, but on the last picture, it actually shows a base non-sasquatch uh, non Bronco next to it. So it does have the 32 inch tires, obviously one of the, the Raptor version to look so much bigger. So with that five extra inches, it, really does stand out. I'd like mm -hmm. to see what it looks like sitting next to one of these with the Sasquatch package. I still I still think it's gonna look pretty neat. Um, now, going to, we'll start with the rear because that's where a lot of the things were different. Yeah. On the rear mount on this, <clears throat> this is very accurate to what you're gonna see on a normal Bronco, not a Raptor. You'll have this really tiny um, third brake light right here with a regular size tire, obviously a full size spare. With the Raptor version, you're going to have a tire carrier that actually has a brace on it, and you're going to have a bigger light up here, and it's going to accommodate a larger tire. Obviously, it's 37 inch, so you're going to need something a little bit beefier to handle that. Yeah. So, so I'll link that. I'll link a picture uh, over the whole thing right now, and I'll show you what I'm talking about. So if you look above the tire, it actually shows the three lights that are already on it. 
Uh, I believe that would be the three normal Raptor lights that are in the center, and then the other portions of that light are gonna be your third brake light. The tire does look absolutely massive compared to the stock tire that's on our Bronco right now. Our Bronco does have 32s. So with that, like she said, you're gonna have to have some kind of reinforcement for the tire carrier. Um, and they did that as well. So it's it's actually looks pretty cool. Uh, that's gonna be one of those things where I'd probably buy it aftermarket even for the one that we have because that's actually pretty neat. I like how it does. And again, you can see the different tail lights on either side. Uh, yeah, they are to tail lights. They are separate. They are separated, and we knew that from before. And here you can actually see how much wider those fender flares are. This is a perfect view to show you yeah, just how is. wide it is. Um, the I bumper. I swear they're probably like this. Huh? I swear they're like this wide. They are. They're huge. The, measure this gap. What is this? Like eight inches? Oh, six. Close about six inches on either side. Yeah, it's about like that, okay? <laughs> oh, about yay big. <laughs> yay big. <laughs> yes, it's eight inches. <laughs> Uh, also, you can tell the bumper, I'm hoping they come out with a different bumper. I'm not a big fan of the bumper on it. Uh, I'm hoping they come out with something a little bit better than your plastic looking style bumper or something yeah. a little bit more beefy. The bumper goes straight and then it has to divot to accommodate the tire. And then on the other side of it, on the driver's side, there's a license plate holder. And so next to those, like next to those, you can see the what appears to be almost like mud flaps coming down or extension yeah. to the bumper on either I side. I think your bumper extension. We'll see. Um, now going to the some of the things that people were talking about before. First off, let me state I had uh, I'll put up this picture right now. It's the underneath for the back end. So it does show the rear end with the gigantic R, the Raptor R on yeah. the uh, pumpkin. So that actually is it, definitely going to be called the Raptor. There is no Warthog, you know, nameplate on that. So we'll see. We'll see if it comes out. We'll Hang see. on. We'll see. We'll, I'm not 100% sold on yeah. the Raptor name yet. Yeah, and, and it's, I don't know if that's just something left over from a regular Raptor that they put in this or what. Yeah. I'm going with their fact that they're going to call the Raptor. I have a idea what the Warthog is going to be, but I'll get to that in just a second. Now, also, I did see that, or I did hear people talking about the fact that it has a single exhaust going to a dual tip. I don't see this. I do see the... Well, I can't see past the muffler that's actually at the very beginning. I do see the two uh, exhaust pipes going up over the over the uh, rear end, over the axle, and then goes down into two separate tips. Again, I don't know anything before that muffler, whether it's two pipes going into one muffler or one pipe going into the muffler and then out to two. Now, this does have the generic loop. Um, On the rear, yeah, like your little D-rings. Yeah, like the little d Oh, well, it's not even a D-ring, it's just... So it, it yeah, it does look like it has Careful, this thing sharp. on the back, as you can tell. Um, it's just the, the loop they have on the generic Broncos, the, not the generic, the non-modular bumper Broncos. Um, we'll see. Uh, I hope they put something a little bit more rugged, hooked onto the bumper, straight to where the, the frame is. Now that right there, I don't know if that's actually hooked in straight to the frame or it's a bracket that may bend or break or tweak when you pull it one way or another. I do like the fact that it actually has the tow package on it. Yeah, it does. Since it's such a constraint, they put it on the, they put it on the test vehicle, which yeah. I, uh, ideally like they would test it with too, it. Yeah. Yeah, it has all the sensors on it. Um, yeah, like I said, I I I think that's it's going to be called the Raptor, but I do have an idea. 
So they could have used a rear end off of a Ranger that was a Raptor version. Yeah. Oh, I don't have that other picture. Oh, it's Warhog. So I'll link that picture up here. They did get a good picture of the of a Warthog. Somebody wrote Warthog on one of the identification tapes yeah, or something like that. It was done in like masking tape with a Sharpie. And what I'm thinking is how the Bronco comes standard with 30, was it 32s? Yeah. And the Sasquatch 35. is 35s. What if the Bronco Raptor comes standard with the 35s and the Warthog is the 37 edition? Because I, you know Ford is going to make it the 37s as being an option. But they got to get their money out from it somehow. Because I think that's an option on the I Raptor, if I'm, if I'm not mistaken. Ford I may be so. screwing with us with the names, honestly. <laughs> Maybe. But I I think it's going to be... I can't wait till the specs come out for it. I can't wait till the engine uh, the engine and transmission and, and you know, weight and the actual... And that, yeah. yeah. Wait till it's unwrapped. Uh, there's a lot of people that are putting their names down on it just because they want one of the first Raptors. We're not going to do yeah. that. We want to see what that. the specs are right now. We also want to see what it looks like unwrapped. I want to see what engine comes with it. If it gets, I know it's not going to be a V8. I, I, it didn't sound like a V8 to me. You no, could actually, I do want to say something. At the very beginning of this video, you could hear the turbo whine. That was Wicked as shit. You I'm, might be able to. I, I'm pitched stuff. Yeah, I can't, I can't hear crickets. Up. I honestly cannot hear crickets. She can't hear crickets or husbands. I can hear you just but, fine. <laughs> oh, oh no, that's not. Oh, she's, oh, she's over there. I thought I just kicked her in the nose. That's something else. Um, she's always under my feet. She follows me around. Well, not her. She doesn't follow me anywhere. You. No, my pit bull does that. Because he's a boy. Anyways. Uh, as far as whether we're going to get one, that's remained to be seen. Yeah. What do you guys think? Leave a comment down below if we should add that to the list of Broncos we are buying. Maybe not, 2023. Not yet. Uh, maybe 2023. Uh, I, I want to wait till the, the $100,000... Uh, price tag gouging goes away for the for that before I purchase Oh yeah, because you know they're gonna rake that if, up. If a regular Bronco goes for thirty to fifty thousand dollars over, you know a a a Raptor Bronco is gonna go for a hundred and somebody's gonna buy that too. Side note, not Raptor related, but it does start with an R. Um, you saw a Roush Oh. Yeah. Oh, the Roush. yeah, the Roush. Um, yeah, sorry, we're getting a little bit sidelined, but I wanted to bring that up, too. Yeah, I don't know where I saw that. I saw it on... God, where did I see that? I don't I know. I hope they... We did... If I'll try to find that picture of the Roush Bronco, it was I nice. really do like that. That may be... That may be one of the good... That If Roush comes out with one, that's definitely going to be... Heads up for Shelby coming out with one, too. Oh, yeah. If Roush so, does it, Shelby will definitely the, do it. The Roush one was really nice. Uh, just the, It was subtle, but it was really well done. Um, I'll link a picture somewhere, probably the whole screen. Okay. For those of you that are not really car savvy, with Roush, they're more performance geared than appearance geared. Yeah. So yeah. you're going to have a lot of stuff underneath the hood and, you know... The mechanical part of it is going to be nice. Yeah, we'll see. Uh, I I do like the idea of that one. Uh, as far as the Raptor, we'll have to see what the specs are first. Um, we are waiting for that. And that comes out just little by little. It's supposed to come out next year, 2022. Yeah, people I, still can't get their damn Broncos, but yet we're working on a Raptor. <laughs> well, they're getting them now. They're getting them now. <laughs> Yeah, They're just backlogged. Well, you know, you know, these are gonna be backlogged as well. 
Plus, these are going to be very limited coming out rather than full-blown friggin' balls to the wall doing Raptors. On the Raptor version. I'm not 100% sold on Defender Flares. I'm going to have to wait to see what it looks like on Raptors. They might camouflage it a little bit if it's all one color. If they're black... No. I don't think I don't think they're gonna do it black because they are wrapped on this on this thing. I don't think they're gonna be black. I think they're gonna be well actually the picture they showed as a highlight at the very beginning we did a video showing kind of what it looked like. They were painted. Mm -hmm. Those flares were painted. Well yeah, that's fine if they're body painted. I'm just not sure about the width and like the shape of them. Yeah. Well, the fenders are wider. It's just the fender flares are an addition to it. You're going to have to because that's part of the regulations. What you can do is yeah, just take the stupid fender flares off and put something smaller. I'm sure people are going to be making different fender flares for that. Oh, I hope so. But <laughs> Come on, aftermarket people. <laughs> but, uh, yeah, we're, we're curious to see what it's come with. Uh, a lot of stuff underneath you can't really tell because it is just basic stock Bronco looking items minus the rear end is not stock Bronco. Uh, you can definitely tell. The exhaust is not stock from what I see. Uh, and I don't think anything on the rear end is stock because it doesn't look anything like the rear end that we pulled apart. Not really. So we will have to wait and see what it looks like. Mine's a definite maybe. It's not a definite no. I just want to see what the what the power is and stuff like that. It's hopefully they did it right and gave it over 400 horsepower. If they did anything less than that, hopefully 450 or more, I think it's going to be a, a not that it's going to be a failure, but I think a lot of people are going to be disappointed with it if it's only like 400 horsepower because the stock Bronco is like 330. That one's 310, I believe. 330, 340, something That's like that. That's not bad for 2.3. <laughs> yeah, so it it needs to live up to the hype of the Raptor and come out with some pretty big, pretty decent numbers. Now, Grant, I'm not going to talk 1,000 horsepower out of a V6, <laughs> Not but, for uh, Hennessy to do. No, no, <laughs> Hennessy won't put a V6 in it. They'll figure out a way to put a Coyote. That's Actually, insane. they do have a Coyote motor in one of them. Not it's a after or it's a one somebody chopped it all up and stuff. So, well, they did they did pretty good, but there's some things that could have been fixed on it. But we won't go into that. Uh, but yeah, I do. Uh, I'm on the fence with it. I. I'm not going to lean this way or this way. There has there has to be a lot of information that's out there. And they really haven't shown what the interior looks like or anything like that. If it's just a regular regular interior, just like the regular Bronco, they have to do something that's a lot nicer. Yeah, you're going to have to wow me big time on that one. Because I look at Raptors every day when I was at Ford, and I'm just like, oh, hey, look, truck. <laughs> Hey, it's another truck with a wide fender on it. We can buy that. <laughs> now, yeah, now you're going to see all these Broncos with all these Ford symbols or Ford <laughs> Raptor grills on it and stuff like that. So I won't be doing that. I won't be doing that, no. Uh, what I will be doing, however, is a few items. If you don't follow me on Instagram or see any pictures that we comment about on Bronco Nation... There is a gigantic set of tires right there, rims, and a whole crap ton of other stuff, including lights. So we will be putting these on. I do need to make the brackets later on, uh, so stay tuned for that. I'm going to custom make some brackets for the mirrors. Uh, I did buy some, but I didn't like the way they looked. We're going to end up doing that, so that's a future build or a future video also. If you guys know what this is, it's a... Is it a GoPro thing? <laughs> no, it's a fire extinguisher mount. Oh. <laughs> or a GoPro. Oh, it's just zip tie it right there. Yeah, I just saw that. <laughs> so it, it is a fire extinguisher mount. What it does is it comes apart. 
Uh, he didn't maybe. tell me what it was. I was just taking a shot in the dark, and obviously I was wrong. <laughs> maybe. So it's a quick release fire extinguisher mount. We plan on putting in the Bronco all. as well. Yeah, putting uh, all of them, I think. We have, we have three different versions. I like this one so far the most. I know I'm going to put it in the rear roll bar. I just don't know how. So I like that. We have to make sure that it's sound it doesn't move and it also doesn't destroy the roll bar itself so i have to get some kind of protective coating or rubber or something like that to go under the straps that go on there it's going to dig right through the paint i don't want to do that uh, oh ppf i do have some ppf but i want to make it a little bit better than that because the rubber will still wear out onto that thing so i'm going to do a couple couple wraps of ppf on it Carbon right fiber. where Carbon fiber? Oh, no. Well, it has to be something that's going to... Carbon fiber PPF? No, oh, no. Oh. <laughs> no, I mean like a sheet of carbon fiber and just wrap it around. No, I, it's going to be rubber. I have to have something that's going to grip it. Carbon fiber oh. will be... I do want to do... What? I do plan on doing something with carbon fiber with this, though. See the light bulb above his head? No, no I do I do plan on doing something with carbon fiber with these. Now, it's not going to be these. It's going to be the location where we put the switches since ours doesn't have, uh, yeah, that we have to fabricate something inside that actually the switches will hold on to. Now, these are the first set. I want to see how these go before I buy the other sets. What if we just get the VIN number off to Badlands and get them ordered? I gave him the VIN number. Oh, well, well, we got to wait till it's built. Well, yeah. It's, just, oh. Well, just because you gave me the VIN number doesn't mean that it's in the system for Ford yet. Yeah. So, we do have uh, on more news as of <laughs> you guys actually watching the very first one of this week, our Badlands was supposed to be built today. Um, hang on. Oh, no. Hey, okay. Okay, let me see. No. no nothing yet. Uh -huh. This is Thursday. It was supposed to be built this week. I've been checking my, my email at least once every hour, if not more. It's frustrating as hell. Good luck for all the people who actually have it this week or next week. It is going to be the longest week ever if it's built on Friday. It is literally going to be the one built on Friday second it shift be built right before. Right on Friday. It better not be like, a, well, it's going to be a Friday car if it does get built on a Friday. But that's kind of scary. Well, it's okay. Either that or it's delayed. So. We'll find out tomorrow. So Monday, I was going to do a video for tomorrow, but we haven't gotten any news. So Monday, we might find out. We'll let you know if we got it. I'll be calling up Bronco customer service all day long, waiting on hold for 20 hours to find out if my car was built or not. <laughs> and hopefully, they do send out pictures. So when I do get it, I'll, I'll link the picture in there. But uh, anyways, hope you like the video. Hope you guys, you know, find the Raptor kind of interesting. I do. I like the Raptor name. I like to know what it does. They were being pretty nice with the Raptor. Obviously, it's a, a vehicle. They're doing a lot of research. They don't want to go balls to the wall and destroy the only, <laughs> the only couple vehicles. They have. Yeah, the only <laughs> prototype they have. So they are being kind of cautious with it. Yeah, they were uh, very kind to it on the roads. So. Yeah, I, I want to see what exactly it can do. I want to see some some footage of it really going through some terrain some terrain uh, in speed or off-roading in speed because seeing a seeing a raptor off the road that, at high speeds is absolutely badass that's it, gonna have like a baja mode right yeah i'm sure it has everything Ooh, it has a mars mode i'm that? sure oh no that's only tesla has the mars mode no tesla has space mode space mode sorry spacex mode booster rockets in the back. It's 
start Van Blasting on radio. Yeah. Um, but yeah, that'd be neat to see like a pre-render build of the Raptor. Yeah. We'll see what kind of bumpers are coming out for it. We may do that to the... To the, the diamond? The diamond, yeah. Pre-runner style diamond. Apocalypse Bronco. Anyways, hope you like the video. Hope you find it interesting. Hope you uh, like, subscribe, hit the notification bell, and Drop tune, in, tune in Monday to find if we got it. <laughs> or not got it, but if it got built. Yeah. Or they forgot it. That's more like it. It'll be, and our Black Diamond is supposed to be built next week. That yeah. will be a Monday car. <laughs> we'll well, get that the boat is out next of it. Monday is the 6th, which is when our Black Diamond got pushed off to. Yeah, that week, the week of the 6th. Apparently so. Badlands did too. No, they, they would send something out. Anyways, see you guys later. Bye. You be nice. What do you have on your face?